Hi guys, I am obviously not Zach. <laughs> My name is Monica and this is our family watch store right time that you guys have been tuning into on YouTube. And we wanted to take you in for a little closer look with one of the brands that we carry today. And that brand is Reservoir. And many of you are not familiar with Reservoir, so that's why we chose to give you a closer look. Monica, what's on your wrist today? I'm uh, rocking the bubble today. Uh, great choice. And I've got my Grand Seiko on, of course. <laughs> Can't beat it. So, Reservoir was founded in 2015 by a man named Francois. This will be important later on. Um, he decided that watches... <laughs> look nothing like gauges but didn't understand why. He was so inspired by different gauges in cars, airplanes, uh, submarines, um, gauges all over but never understood why a watch didn't ever look like a gauge. So he made a brand <laughs> that has watches that look like gauges. So um, instead of traditional timekeeping like we normally use with three hands, he changed traditional timekeeping as we knew it and decided to go with a jump hour with retrograde minutes. Um, and I'll show you an example of that uh, in just a little bit. All right. So uh, Francois creates this brand in 2015 based off of gauges. And it's kind of cool. He uses a, a 28-24 base and makes a module on top that basically allows us to tell time a little bit more like a gauge works. So, all right. So the little window at the bottom is a jump hour. The minutes are displayed here in retrograde, and the power reserve is at the at the bottom of every watch, and every indication on every model is a little bit different. So you can see the power reserve go up. And right now, it's 2.50, nearing 3 o'clock, where the jump occurs. So just a different way to tell time. And every reservoir is set up like that, a jump hour with retrograde minutes. Um, so a cool thing that he did is he expanded the collections. He started out inspired by cars. Um, so he made a few in the series that is called the GT series. And so GT has a very uh, kind of dashboard speedometer uh, inspiration. He was inspired by airplanes in the cockpit of airplanes. So we have the air fight collection. Reservoir has even drawn inspiration from, this is one of my favorites, the submarine. And so they looked at a vintage submarine gauge to make the Tiefenmeister. And they have recently gotten into a dive collection called the Hydrosphere. Yeah. And finally, um, a little smaller case size. So the Hydrosphere is a 45. Most of the collection is a 43. This is the club collection. This is the only collection that's done in a 39. But also has very cool dial colors, inspired by some of um, some some cool cool race cars. So Reservoir is made in Switzerland. The factory is in Switzerland, but the band is based in France. So I told you to remember the name Francois because the three main guys at the brand are named Francois. <laughs> so there's Francois who created the brand. Francois who we talk to for every service-based issue, um, anything customer service related. Um, he's awesome. And then there's a the third Francois who's in, responsible for marketing the brand. So we joke and call it the brand of the three Francois. <laughs> um, so the watch is shipped directly to us from Paris, France. Um, and they have been such a cool brand to work with. So there's a few pieces that are um, my favorites. 
So if I can just show you a little detail stuff on the favorites. I know I've brought this watch up a couple times to the camera, but this is the newest release. This is called the Canister. So Canister is inspired by an old Porsche Speedster from the 1950s and it comes in a really cool set. So not only do you have the speedometer inspired dial with the cool pale green color, the red accents, um, so very race car inspired. You also have this cool vintage type strap set that matches the dial perfectly. So red, tan, and then one that is black with that pale, pale teal accent as well. So canister is one of my favorites. And then my all time favorite. <laughs> is the Tiefen Master. So this is the bronze case version. And I don't know, this, this screams vintage in a way that I think no other watches do because this is vintage from a submarine gauge. I mean, this is as cool as it gets. So cool bronze case, 43 millimeters. Um, another thing that's really cool is every reservoir comes both with the strap that it is on and then with a different strap in the box. The presentation is awesome. Like I showed you on the canister, it comes with the three different straps. If not, there'll be a NATO strap in there. Um, yeah. For those who don't know, tell me more about what a module is. You said there's an ETA, and then what yeah, happens? Yeah, so the, so the watch is powered by an ETA base. So the cool thing, what this means to, to everybody, is that it's kind of easily serviceable. So should we need to, if it's having kind of power reserve issues, anything like that, the watch can easily be serviced because it's based on a 2024 movement. Then they had a movement uh, maker, a high-end movement maker, create a module that holds the jump hour, the power reserve, and the retrograde minutes on top. So should there be any movement issues in that, you can literally just replace the module. <laughs> so the little added layer onto the movement, we can take that off and put a new one on. So the servicing of this watch is, down the road is a very, it's a very easy watch to service and they're they wanted to make it basically as painless as possible to own something so cool because usually these complications come with a very, very high price tag, but Francois, from the get-go when he created the brand, wanted to make sure that it was at a more attainable level. So, What kind of price range are we talking about with Reservoir? We are talking about $3,900 and up. Okay. Um, and when I say and up, 39 to 63. This is the titanium skeleton case, um, skeleton dial, sorry. So it gets pretty cool <laughs> for $6,300. Um, so yeah, so there, it's, it's, still, it's still reasonably priced for having a complication on a mechanical movement. So for someone considering one of the more mainstream brands, why would you maybe point them towards Reservoir as an option. Yeah, well, that's easy. <laughs> so you're not boring. <laughs> Reservoir is so cool. Not only is it, this is like, something magical happens every hour. <laughs> so there's something to look forward to because watching the retrograde jump is, is so fun. I mean, I could just change the time and just sit there and do it anyways. But um, just being able to have that to look forward to is kind of a cool, a cool thing in a watch. Especially because retrograde we normally see with dates, which means you're waiting 31 days for this exciting jump to happen. <laughs> so here you get it once an hour. Um, it's the same like at a base movement that would be in a lot of mainstream brands. So it's kind of a, that means it makes it a little bit more attainable. It's not like a completely in-house movement that makes it out of our, you know, a big, a big huge price jump. Um, but it gives you something so unique. And really that's something that we look for at the store is things that are unlike anything else. And Reservoir, why we brought them in is because they're unlike anything else. But at 43 millimeters, they're really, really comfortable. So I have a six inch wrist. I can comfortably wear this watch. Zach has an eight inch wrist. Zach can comfortably wear this watch. I can wear whatever I want. <laughs> So it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool in that way. It's very it's universal. Um, the 43 millimeter doesn't. It has a very nice tight lug to lug measurement. It curves quite a bit, so it's easy to pull off on really any size wrist. And just in case 43 is intimidating, the club level at 39 or the club watch at 39 is also a cool idea. But yeah, for something a little bit different. So not only are we not in Switzerland, I mean the factory is in Switzerland, so the, the movement is made in Switzerland, but the inspiration, the idea, the design is not a tradi traditional Swiss, Swiss watch. So um, 
I like to go a little bit against the mainstream, to be honest. <laughs> so if Reservoir is something that interests you, come by Right Time, specifically to the County Line store, where we have the entire collection on display. Um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the store soon. Thanks. Nice to meet everybody. <laughs>